you know, AIA is putting on this event to promote uh, planning and design uh, in, in, uh, in a city environment. And uh, my kids wanted to come, so we came out here with them. And it's just a good, good function for all the children to come out and do. It's a good time. The mayor's coming. We have a good turnout today. Um, and it's a good event for the kids to come out. It's a free event, so they have a good time coming out and just seeing the importance of planning and design in a, uh, in a city environment. The process is basically just a, um, an area for kids to be able to be creative and build their version of what a city would look like. So they, they enter the building and they are welcomed at registration. And so they register and tell us who they are and making sure why they're here. Uh, from that part, we direct them over to the permit department and the permit department, they decide what kind of building they want to build. And so when they get there, the permit department asks them, welcome to our city. Is there, do you know what kind of building you want to build? If they do, then they get a permit with their name. It's basically just a post-it note with their name and their building type on it and their hard hat so that they can become builders in the city. If they don't know what kind of building they want to build, then they're directed to an area where we have basically a PowerPoint of a number of different building types and suggestions on what kind of things they can build so that they can begin the conversation of what goes into a city and what kind of things are needed. And then once they decide, they can go back and get their permit. From the permit de department, they're directed through the construction cones to the site selection department. And at site selection, we have a number of grid facilitators, which is basically where we are now. Um, we have a number of grid facilitators that will ask them, do you have your building permit? Welcome to our city. What is it that you would like to build? And so from that point, they can go with the grid facilitator and they can talk about whether they have an office building or the state capitol or a house and where within a city that might fit and how that works with other buildings that are already in the city. And so they go with them out to the um, out to the city grid and they basically pick where they want their site to go and they put their um, their permit on that site so it saves their place for them. They're then directed to the construction zone which is all of the tables that you see uh, and they are allowed to build their building. So we have things from uh, the Recycle Foundation, from Co-op Bookstore, from uh, just a number of area businesses, Bow Brothers Construction, Home Depot. We have a lot of um, actual building materials that are used in building construction that they can then use and get a feel for to make them become whatever they want. Uh, one child used uh, roofing insulation as a mirror for a dance studio. So they can use those pieces for whatever they want to build for. And in the uh, construction zone, we have a number of our members who are architects, and then we have architects and engineers and contractors who are all kind of paired with the kids so they can talk to them about what the actual things are that they're using, what they're typically used for, and then maybe what they want to use them for. And then those buildings are then taken and placed on the, on the city grid so that we can then have the, uh, the city itself. We also have people from the fire marshal's office that are here that are making surprise inspections on the actual construction. So nobody fails inspection here, but they do give does give them a chance to kind of talk to them about the fact that there are inspections for plumbing and electrical and those kinds of things that goes into a building and what kind of things are they thinking about and how that works. So the, the whole event is just a variety of different um, entities that are coming together that is giving the kids kind of a chance to be creative and, and play, but yet still learn about city planning and urban planning and architecture and construction. And we also have um, CSRS engineers who, um, who focus a lot, of, obviously, on engineering. And they're here working with the kids as well, talking about how to build buildings and what goes into, into the different things. So once they're done, then they have a uh, thank you certificate that's signed by the mayor for participating in building the city. We have um, architect Barbie that has also made an appearance here and she's going to be going home with a couple of the kids as well as some architectural Lego sets that will um, go home with some of the kids as well.
we see how kids can build a city. So today, as you look around, uh, kids have built different things from bridges uh, to the state capitol to football fields to you name it. A lot of that is centered in Baton Rouge and uh, some have built uh, some other buildings and designs uh, that are really very special. So it's, it's, a, it's an educational piece uh, for these young people to take time out of their Saturday with their parents and volunteers uh, to come out and really keep the learning process going. Uh, many of these young people participating in this program today uh, are our leaders, not of the future, but also today because you can see what's in their minds already and how they're designing things. I brought, I built a federal building. Well, describe it to me. Uh, it has a symbol at the top, an uh, um, Under Armour symbol. It's pretty tall, it has a pool, indoor swimming pool and all that. It's pretty cool. Why did you want to build this? Uh, I wanted to build this because I thought it would be a good idea to build and my dad, he said it would be a good idea too. It's just a fun thing to do with your kids and I wanted to teach him how to go through a little mock permit process, get a feel to be a contractor and a designer all at the same time. And why do you think it's so important for kids to be involved in things like this? I think it just gives them, gives them a little uh, knowledge, uh, forehand knowledge of learning the process before, you know, before you have to get into college and make a decision if that's something you want to do. So it gives them an insight before they have to, you know, choose. So they know what kind of have some idea of what they're getting into. It gives them a positive uh, environment to do some things. It, it builds self-confidence because you know you start virtually from scratch, and then uh, before long, three, four hours later, you've actually built something you can see, take a picture of, and really take it back to the school to let people know exactly what you've been doing. But at the same time, it's a positive role model situation that at even this age here, uh, these are young people who are constantly concentrating on doing good things for our community and at the same time their learning process continues. Mr. Mayor, we present you with the key to our city. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wow, yeah. Pretty neat here. Thank you. Great. Our company was one of the sponsors for this event and we felt it was important to get our staff involved and to help these kids really understand what engineering and architecture is all about in a way that's fun and interactive for them. Well, this is a wonderful opportunity for us to be a part of the fabric of the community to help the kids really learn and understand what architecture, civil engineering, site planning is all about in a, in a way that's very fun and energetic and they just love it and we have a great time supporting them. So often kids think of engineering and architecture as something that's really a challenge and too hard but you bring them in an environment like this where it's really more about playing and just having a good time and they really don't even realize that they're learning until it's done and then they have something they can take away and perhaps apply later in their life. I hope they get a, an understanding of what the fabric of a city is all about and all the different components you know from airports that we see to the uh, churches that they built you know it's it's working together to create a sense of community and sense of place so I hope they they get a little bit of that and got a chance to walk around and see what everybody else did and, and take that away you know what else is really unique you know all of the parents uh, you know my age and or younger or older uh, you know we didn't have these opportunities growing up and so now uh, opportunities are there for young people to do some positive things in the community so I'm just happy to see so many turn out to take advantage of it. it was a wonderful turnout. Uh, a lot of excitement, a lot of excitement from the parents. Uh, they had a great time, the kids had a great time, and you know it was just such an exciting day. Uh, we're just pl proud to uh, support the AIA, to support this wonderful cause and, and wonderful uh, opportunity for the kids. I hope uh, they, we continue to see this grow and get bigger year after year. Get new new kids involved and and teach teach all of the the surrounding areas, children, of what it's what it's like to be a part of the city and be a part of the construction process and the whole uh, the whole different works of design. 